we have one of the rarest chocolate in the world. Only a thousand of these were made. Yes, you heard, we have a mystery box of 13 days of Halloween chocolate bars that there was only a thousand of them made. After unboxing, I just realized they upped the number from a thousand to two thousand, still making it pretty rare. And I absolutely love the box that this comes in. Now we are supposed to get 13 different chocolate bars. All of them are handmade. This is not sponsored, not affiliated, but I'm really excited to try and test out these chocolates from the UK from a store called the Chocolate Smiths, which means this is bonus content. So don't forget to watch the other videos of this week. And as you can see, they posted this on their TikTok and it went absolutely viral at 1.4 million views. And the chocolate bars look absolutely phenomenal. These are supposed to be handmade. I've never tried handmade chocolate from the UK before, so I'm really excited to try this. They do call these miniature chocolate bars, so I'm really hoping they're not that tiny, considering that these actually cost me about $80 for 13 chocolate bars. Kitty editor, take out your calculator. If we have 13 chocolate bars and it cost me about $80, give us the math here. How much is it per chocolate bar? <laughs> Quite premium. So I'm really curious to see how this is going to go. Again, the packaging is absolutely gorgeous. I love the fact that the windows look like there are different layers within them. They witch or a potion. And even on the sides, we do get different windows and ghosts and it's just absolutely beautiful. But as always with me, you will absolutely get my honest opinion. So I am not usually a person who likes sweet things, but I know sweets quality. And I absolutely love it when chocolate does not taste like a plastic, but more of a rich cream. And before we open it, let me know what is your favorite kind of chocolate? Do you like milk chocolate, dark chocolate, or even flavored type? As cliche as it sounds, I do like chocolate with salt. I don't, don't ask questions. The salt brings out the good goodness and edge. I'm very on brand. Make sure you subscribe. Oops, wrong thing. Make sure you subscribe while you're here, especially if you're new and click on all notifications while you're there. All right, so it seems like we're going to be opening it from the top. At least that's what I think so. And okay, excuse me. Oh, look at that. It's a box within a box and we actually get an environment. Okay, here's what the inside looks like. And we even get a small story. Feel free to pause if you want to read this and check out what's written. The design is absolutely gorgeous all the way around. On this side, we see the witch and basically all the little potions that are going on in a cauldron. On this side, we have trick-or-treaters and they're stealing some potion, oh no. And we have some eyeballs over here and we have a staircase with ghosts. I think this is a trick-or-treater and this is probably a real ghost for some reason. And if we turn it around, it's just a cozy scenery. Anything at the bottom? No. And the top is the story. Okay, let's go ahead and see our 13 mini bars. My goodness, this is definitely a mini bar. So just to give you an idea, here's the size of the chocolate bar, a QR code and a best before date. And it doesn't actually give us the weight on here. Okay. 40 grams this many an ounces. And out of the 13 bars, 11 of them are exclusive to this box only. So we have gold chocolate bar with golden caramel filling and gold luster. That is bougie. And the next one has a different art on there. Okay, so they all have different art. Let's take them all out. Look at that. This one's really pretty as well. I absolutely love the art. Can we appreciate the froggy potion in two seconds? I'm gonna read what they are in not too long. Let's just look at the art real quickly because we love things that have artsy on them. This is a love potion. Oh wait, there's many different kinds of potion. This is Elixir of Fame. Ooh, we're gonna read all of these. Oh, this one's kind of slipping. Trick or treat is candy stash. Oh my goodness, hang on, let's pull you all out. My goodness. I don't know if we're supposed to eat them in order, but now it's too late. We have Vampire's Bite Elixir, Luck Potion. Again, really pretty art. Witch's Brew, <laughs> looks like pumpkin spice to me. Potion of Resurrection and Dragon's Breath. So we're going to look at the flavors as we open them to taste them. Again, I'm not a sweet person. I'm probably gonna be a little extra. I'm probably gonna have to drink some water. I don't know what prompted me to do this, but we're doing it. So let's go ahead and start with Potion of Aging. And we have the gold chocolate bar with golden caramel and gold luster. 
it's funny because some of them are just sliding out and this one is not sliding out. So let's go ahead and peel it. Kind of don't want to ruin it, but my goodness. Voila. Let's see that golden chocolate. Okay. So it's definitely on the caramel looking side. <laughs> Smells absolutely phenomenal like a caramel latte. Let's go ahead and break it. And we have a filling. Here's what it looks like. And we're going to break that again. Let's see what that actually tastes like. Okay, definitely a white chocolate base. And generally I do not like white chocolate, but this is way more on the creamy side. So it feels like putting a condensed milk fudge in your mouth. It's really nice. I didn't think I would like this, but this is absolutely phenomenal. I'm going in for a second piece. Mm-hmm. Definitely a caramel latte. Absolutely phenomenal. I'm going to give this bar, because it is white chocolate, I'm going to give it a really solid 8 on 10. Let's try the next one. And next one here is Potions of Future Sight. Love the art in the eye over here. This one is a milk chocolate bar with crunchy wafer cone. Okay, and you see this one's just sliding right out. Here's what it looks like. Looks very much like a normal chocolate. There's a little bit of a piece over here. Let's break out a small piece. And I don't see any of the wafers so far. And the middle looks very normal. I think there might be something here. Let's go ahead and take a taste. Mmm, interesting. It just tastes like milk chocolate and there is a little bit of crunch, but otherwise there's not much of a flavor coming through. It mostly reminds me of the old school chocolate bunnies that look like this. So I'm going to say this one did not wow me in terms of flavor. It just tastes like very normal chocolate bar. So I'm going to give it a seven on 10. Chocolate bar number three is the froggy one, Potion of Alteration. Milk and gold chocolate with a lime fluff filling and shortbread? That's fancy. I do love my citruses. So if it's lemon or lime flavored kind of chocolates, I will love it. So let's see how this one is going to look like because it is a chocolate and gold, milk and gold. So let's see what this one looks like. And oh, oh, that one, that one got splatted. Does smell a little lime. So let's go ahead and break this one because oh my goodness, oh my goodness, that has no, oh my goodness, that is just breaking into pieces. So let's, oh, look at that. Okay, that's, oh my goodness, there's a little frog. <laughs> So we have a lily pad at the bottom and it is indeed two different colors. That is, that is a bit of a mess. I'm gonna try and break that. All right, let's try. Very, very subtle. Let's try another piece with a little bit more of that cream. You know what I like about this? Is I can tell they used actual lime. They didn't use a lime flavorant. I can taste the actual rind of the lime, which makes me have a lot more respect for this chocolate bar, but it is very subtle. I usually like my flavors a little bit more intense if they're not necessarily sweet, but the fact that none of this is too sweet is going to bump this up to an eight on 10 for me. And kudos for actually using real lime. My hands are sticky. <laughs> My hands are so sticky right now. I need to wash my hands. I'm trying to be serious, but my hands are sticky. <laughs> Chocolate number four coming in at Love Potion. And this one is a white chocolate with passion fruit and cheesecake. I love passion fruit just because it is a little on the sour tart side. So let's see how that one goes. Hopefully that one did not explode. This one's quite bumpy. Let's check the back. Okay, so we see a little bit of the little clusters and it doesn't look like it exploded. And again, we have the two different colors, very artistic. It's already melting, so let's, oh goodness. Oh goodness. Here's what it looks like on the inside. And it smells like white chocolate. I'm just putting the whole bar in my mouth at this point. Mm. That is really sweet. I don't taste the passion fruit. I do get a little bit of that cream cheese type vibe, but I'm kind of sad the passion fruit is not there. Probably my least favorite. I'm going to rank this probably a four on 10. It is just way too sweet. It is tickling me at the bottom of my throat down here. I do see a piece of fruit here, so I'm gonna try and take that piece all on its own. You know what, maybe it's here. Actually, it's over here. Let's take a bite. I taste the passion fruit, but it's still way too sweet for me. I'm a little sad because the passion fruit is absolutely delicious. Everything is way too sweet. Number five, Elixir of Fame. Yes, we're getting into dark chocolate with sparkling salted caramel brownie fill. That sounds like it's right up my alley, especially dark chocolate. And here it looks like we signed our soul. Love the little details on the potion. We have a little devil over here. 
So let's check the back of this bar. Okay, nothing. And the front, wow. What's this? Key, I like it, Picasso. Picasso, I like it. This is actually really cute. I love the details and the artsiness of it and the little bars in the sides here. All right, let's break you. Ooh, hello. We have a fudginess over here. and It's still very, very soft. It smells of dark chocolate, so a bit of that bitteriness to it, but I'm just taking a bar at this point. <laughs> oh, okay. So the dark chocolate is not too bitter. It's leaning a little bit more towards the sweet side because of the filling. And only when you bite into it, do you get a little bit of that saltiness to it, which makes everything a lot sweeter than it actually is because of that flavor difference. But I would say if you do like triple chocolate ice cream, Rocky Road kind of thing, it's exactly the same flavor. I just wish the filling weren't as sweet, but otherwise this is going to get a solid 7.5 from me. This one is actually really interesting because because it's actually bulky. I don't know what's going on, but I feel lumps and bumps everywhere. It's called Trick or Treaters Candy Stash, milk chocolate bar with pop and candy and veggie gummy snakes. Okay, you know what? It kind of reminds me of the, what are they called again? I think they're called Marvelous by Cadbury. I used to love these chocolate bars. They were imported from the UK, but we don't have them anymore. They're discontinued. You can see them on the screen. They're definitely my favorite bar, but we just don't get them anymore. So let's see if this is what we get. We can see little gummy worms, candies, and a little jack-o'-lander. And it is sliding out, but I'm gonna go ahead and open this anyways. Oh my goodness. We have a full gummy worm, nice and still soft actually too. And the front, just a regular looking chocolate bar. And we can see the little pop and candies over here. So let's go ahead and pull you out. Now my biggest complaint is I don't see tiny gummies in here. You really have to try and break from this one, which again, doesn't guarantee that you're going to get on every piece. So let's go ahead and try this one alone. I'm gonna break it again. Again, I don't see the pop and candies, but let's try. There they are. They're there. They're very tiny, but they're there. The milk chocolate itself is actually really creamy. It's leaning towards a seven on 10 in terms of sweetness. I just wish the gummy was actually cut up in tiny pieces and placed in the molds. Because we don't get that full bodied type of experience, I'm going to rate this a six on 10. But despite the fact that I'm rating these based on flavor, the quality is actually really there. So quality itself is not even a question. I just want to be very clear. The quality of this is absolutely phenomenal. Flavor for me, those will vary and that will vary per person. Potion of Darkness. This one has some cute little moon aesthetic going on. This is milk and gold chocolate bar with a blackberry meringue pie filling. Again, I'm really hoping that the filling is a little on the tart side in order to balance the chocolate, but we'll see about that. This is probably the most amount of sweets I've gotten in a long time. My goodness. And here's what the back looks like. My goodness, that definitely looks very golden. And the front, okay, hello. We have a gold type foil with some purple colorant. I'm a little worried this is going to come off on my fingers and yes, it does. What you expect? Let's check out this filling. Oh, hello. I keep saying hello, I do apologize. <laughs> hello. Fancy seeing you here. So here's what it looks like. The colors do remind me of peanut butter and jelly and we can actually see pieces of the raspberry and cream. I'm gonna sniff it. it. Smells a little on the sweet side, so let's go ahead and bite. Hello? I have to say the berry filling is very, very mild. I can barely taste it. I kind of need more intense flavors. They need to up the intensity of these flavors. That's just my opinion. But if you had given me this and not told me what flavor it was, I would never have guessed any kind of berry. But it is overall less sweet. I'm just sad that it doesn't represent its flavor. So I'm going to give it another 6.5. And now we have Potion of Resurrection. This one's really cool. Love the aesthetic. The little bones over here are actually pretty 
pretty cute. They just, the drawings are adorable. This one is a milk chocolate bar with marshmallow fluff and shortcake pieces. Now, before some of you say, but Jackie, you bought chocolate and you're complaining that it's too sweet. Listen, the best chocolate cake that I've ever had was in Japan and it was by Theo Broma. And the sweetness of it complemented the bitterness and the creaminess and it was just, it wasn't too sweet. That's a good dessert shouldn't be too sweet. But marshmallow fluff and shortcake pieces definitely sounds like it's going to be on the sweet side. Oh, look at that. We have green colorant over here. You can see a little bit of the bar caved in a little bit. I don't know if you could tell, but this one's a little on the caved inside. Let's check the back. Looks very normal. And let's go ahead and break that. Yes, there we go. We have the marshmallow fluff looking fantastic. And it does smell like a bit of a marshmallow mixed with chocolate. So a little bit of a s'more. Oh, I expected the marshmallow to be sweeter, but the chocolate on the outside is sweeter than the marshmallow on the inside. I don't feel like it's removing from the chocolate, nor do I feel like it's adding to the chocolate, just a little bit of an extra texture. And I don't know if anyone would eat 13 of these in a row in 13 days. This is just way too much chocolate. I'm getting hyper. Mm -hmm. I would say this one's pretty good, pretty average, so I'll, it'll sit around seven on 10. And then Witch's Brew, which looks like a pumpkin spice latte. I am, as we say, personally victimized by pumpkin season because I love me some pumpkin latte. But this one is a triple chocolate bar, interesting, with hazelnut spread, okay, kind of like Nutella, and locally sourced coffee. Oh, I like that, I like that. So we should be getting a full bodied experience in terms of flavor here. Let's see what this one looks like. Okay, we have some pieces I'm guessing of hazelnut and the front basically all the other chocolate bars. Go ahead and break that. And here's what it looks like in the middle. Oh, it definitely smells more of a Nutella center. I'm curious how much of a coffee flavor is going to come through here. Mmm. Mm, mm. Okay, for Canadians, I'm going to explain this for Canadians. If you've ever had a coffee crisp, this chocolate bar over here, it tastes like the softest part of the chocolate bar, which is the chocolatey, hazelnutty coffee center. That's basically what this bar is. It's the best part of the other chocolate bar. For everyone else, it's basically like a hot chocolate mixed in with coffee and just enough sweetness to make it perfect. So far, this one is my favorite and I'm going to give it a solid 8.5. Coming in next, we have Luck Potion and we see all these different things that are for luck. We have dice, shooting stars, clovers, horseshoes, and I guess gold. <laughs> and says a gold chocolate bar with honeycomb, salt, and brulee sugar. That is quite interesting, but the brulee sugar should add a little bit more of that. I don't wanna say sourness, not sour. A little bit on that sour. You know when burnt sugar on the top side of that creme brulee, a little, it's a little sour, if you know what I mean. <laughs> honeycomb a little worried about just because of the sweetness, but let's go ahead and see. Okay, this one's very golden. It doesn't have the gold powder, but it is pretty golden. Let's check the back. Same thing, very caramel looking. And we're going to break a piece. Okay, so the center looks like a solid piece. This is what it looks like. Let's take a sniff. Smells caramelly. All right, let's take a bite. I'm not tasting the honeycomb and a small piece of the sugar brulee just melted on my tongue, which was very pleasant. I just wish there was more of it in that bite, but otherwise it is a white chocolate dominant chocolate. Let's try another piece because we do have a little bit more of the uh, little add-ons over here. Yeah, definitely the little add-ons are the best part of this chocolate. Otherwise, it mostly really is white chocolate. Not too sweet, but again, I would have loved bigger chunks or more of it in the middle. I could see myself enjoying this with probably a coffee, so I'm going to give it a 7.5. Vampire's Bite Elixir. This one is beautiful. I love the aesthetic of this one, kind of looking like Dracula's cape. We have bats and droplets falling down. This one is a white chocolate bar filled with sweet blood orange caramel. I really wish their flavors were a little bit more intense. I'm telling you, this is a definitely, definitely absolutely great quality, but the flavors could be a little bit more intense. Y'all, if you're looking for a chocolate tester, I'd be happy to do it. Okay, hello. Again, hello. <laughs> 
So we have the white chocolate with the uh, red blood spatter. A little bit of that cream definitely came out. The back is still the same white chocolate look. It is leaning a bit towards the gray, which is kind of neat. And let's go ahead and break off a piece. My goodness. My good. Oh my goodness. That is hard to break, but look at that. They were very generous with the filling. And again, this is supposed to be a blood orange caramel. Please be orangey. Oranges are one of my favorite fruits ever. It definitely has a hint of an orange flavor. Well, scent, and let's see it. Mmm. Yes, 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 yes. This one's really good. Still leaning a bit towards the sweet end. It would have been okay if the orange were a little bit more tart or sour to kind of offset the extra sweetness of the white chocolate. But otherwise, this is really good. I would say because they're super generous with the filling, this is going to be my next favorite. Again, don't be afraid to make it a little bit on the sour side. It just adds more oomph to things when you have contrast of flavor. And I think it would have worked perfectly with with a dark chocolate. So I'm going to give it an eight on 10. This one is called Familiar's Treat. And we have a kitty cat with milk, looks like Oreos here. A white chocolate bar speckled with crumbled with chocolate cookie. So this should be very similar to one of my past favorites was with the Hershey's Cookies and Cream, this chocolate bar over here. It was really good. So let's see if this one is similar. As long as we don't go too sweet, I think we're definitely going to be on the right track. Here's the packaging. Just notice that every single packaging has a different front and a different Different back. That is definitely something to admire. Great job on all the details. And here's what it looks like. They definitely did not cheap out on the cookie crumble, which I love. Oh, and it broke. Oh my goodness, this one had a paw in the back. Cute. So this one had a little detail of paw. Very, very cute. I like that. And since it broke, we can take a look at the center. We have all the little cookie crumbles in here. Let's break a piece off. Smells just like white chocolate. Just like white chocolate. I'm not getting too much of the cookie and cream. I'm getting mostly just the cream part of it. I personally don't know how they would have changed it. Maybe by adding a cookie type flavorant or maybe a little bit more vanilla, but the cookie is definitely not coming through. So this is just the white chocolate. So I'm going to give this a 5.5. And next we have Dragon's Breath Elixir. And here we have a potion with fire coming from right on top. And this one's a milk and gold chocolate with a pumpkin spiced caramel brownie filling. I was waiting for something pumpkin flavor. I'm like, this is for Halloween. We need pumpkins. We need apples. And we could have played around with a few savory flavors as well to add in to make this extra special and maybe a little bit more unique too. But this is, this is going to be important because we need that pumpkin to come through. And if there's anything important about pumpkin flavor, it really should have these spices of pumpkin pie in the same way that Starbucks has it. And here we have a caramel color with red splatter and the back is a chocolate. Let's go ahead and break that. Oh, that is soft. That is soft. Let's take a look at the inside. And it looks like we have chocolate and a little bit of that pumpkin filling over here. So let's try this. Mmm. Immediately, yes. Immediately. This is so intense. I have goosebumps right now. This is genuinely really intense. It really feels like I took a slice of pumpkin pie and just shoved it down my mouth. I didn't have to chew for very long and I knew this was it. It's not too sweet. The flavor of the pumpkin is very, very powerful in a good way. Easily a nine on 10. I have to say the chocolate smiths are really absolutely phenomenal at quality. One of the things I would love to see them work on is intensity of flavor. Make everything as intense as the pumpkin pie filling. And don't be afraid to be creative in savory additions into chocolate because that could work really well too. Have fun and play is what I'm saying. Would I recommend this specific box? Would I buy this again for about $80? The answer is probably no, but I would be interested in buying individual bars that suit my needs and my flavor profiles. Let me know your thoughts and again, your favorite kinds of chocolates and if you've ever tried anything from Chocolate Smiths. If you want to watch more advent calendar reviews, they are on their way for the holiday season. In the meantime, here's last year's playlist and if you want to watch something a little crafty, Make sure you check down here. Until then, I will see you grains in the next video.